Hey guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to my channel. Whew, the long awaited Kia EV9 is finally here and I have a super sassy one behind me to tour for you guys today. We have brought car seats, we have brought strollers and we are ready to put this mass market electric three row SUV to the test. If this is your first time joining me, hey, I'm Kelly and I'm the car mom. I review cars for moms and families. I'm a mom of three and I'm a certified child passenger safety tech. All right, let's get started. But before we get to the tour, if you are currently in the market for a car, you have to check out all of our car buying resources over at thecarmom.com. We have online courses, consultations, and free resources to make your next family car purchase a breeze. We will leave a link in the description box below. <laughs> Okay, the Kia EV9, it is finally here, and this car has been so anticipated. It's what I'm kind of calling a mass market through SUV because, of course, we had the Rivian R1S, the Tesla Model X, but this is something that should be more affordable and still offer a lot of room for families. As far as the exterior design is concerned, overall, I'm a pretty big fan of it. I think it very much looks cohesive with the Kia brand. I don't think they tried to make it too different, but it definitely looks fun and futuristic. I think it's very much giving Soul meets Telluride but like emphasis on the sole. Like she definitely has like that boxy element, but it looks freaking good. This is the GT line and I just love all of the sporty elements on this car. We've got the blacked out fenders, the roof rails. I think the tail lights are very interesting. I love the big Kia logo. I love that they tucked the wiper blade up underneath it. It's just to kind of clean up the back end. And overall, I just think it's a really great sporty exterior. You guys look at the front, like what? I could literally fit a Mockingbird single stroller in the front of the F-150. I'm not trying to say I should be able to fit that. I don't even, I couldn't even, I could not fit anything in there. This is a little disappointing. So this EV9 is the GT line. It's all wheel drive in the long range. You're looking about right under 300 miles of range. Um, and this one is an MSRP of $76,000. Now the EV9 starts a lot closer to 60, depending on how you want to get it equipped. We actually did a lower trim level that had the bench seat. We can leave a link to that in the description below. But as far as some of the technology is concerned, it has got a ton of great advanced drivers, driver safety features, like the frontal collision warning, the blind spot, the parking distance warning, the parking collision avoidance. Okay guys, here we are in the EV9. Now this car is actually a little bit longer. I think like eight or nine inches than the Telluride. And one of the reasons the car can do that is because there's no engine, right? So like we're able to kind of lengthen the cabin space and they definitely gave you some really great first and second row room. However, compared to the Telluride, the third row in the trunk space, it definitely feel like they're lacking just a little bit, but let's focus on the positives. Like being up here, I am very comfortable from the driver's perspective. My head clearance is great. The seats are firm, but comfortable. I love the curved display with the heads up display. The steering wheel controls are really nice. I'm actually like loving this gunmetal gray instead of just like a piano black or like you know a chrome it just feels a little bit different for the most part i think the car has a lot of good tech and i think it feels more high-end than a telluride i think some of the materials feel a little cheap for the price tag of the car I mean, we're talking seventy six thousand dollars but of course you're paying for it being an ev evs are historically more expensive so the average price being, you know, $60,000 for an EV. So the fact that I'm in a three row SUV, so you kind of have to make the decision about what's best for your family and what you care about. Um, I just, I wouldn't have the expectation that you're going to get in this car and feel like you're in a BMW. I still feel like I'm in a Kia, but I love Kias. One incredibly strange thing about this car are these seats. So they have this bolster down here. I've never seen anything like it. It's for calf support, you guys. And you can drive like this. So then you would just have to go like, I kind of love it. It is, it's bizarre, but it kind of makes so much sense. Like it's very comfortable. Let's take a look at our door panel. Okay, we've got a little bit of a cubby right here. It doesn't fit the Stanley, but I do have massaging seats, heated seats, ventilated seats, and a heated steering wheel. All of those controls are found right there. Okay, let me get you over to the other side because we really want to start breaking down this infotainment system with you. So I was so excited to see that they have the rear view camera. This is key for anyone carrying second and third row passengers or a giant stroller because you don't want your vision to be obstructed. So I love that they have that feature. Sunroof is great. And then we kind of come down to all of this and there's a ton going on here. So we already talked about this beautiful semi-curved display. I've always liked Kia's infotainment system and the Kia EV9 is no different. You can easily customize these different features. It feels very responsive. It's pretty. Um, a few things that I think are a little weird is one, the climate control being right here because 
I can't see it from where the steering wheel is. Like it's completely blocking my view. <laughs> I was like, can't see it. Um, and then they also have some of the climate control down here. I don't, I don't really know why I have the additional options. I would have to go to here. It just seems like a little strange to put it there. Okay, we have a couple of quick buttons right here. Our vents, volume, and then we go down to our charging, which this I think is absolutely genius. So you've got two USB-Cs right here. This one can either just charge or it can charge and display your iPhone. I think this is key because there's sometimes we're like, someone wants to charge my phone and I'm on the Bluetooth and I don't want like their Apple CarPlay to start playing. So I love that you could turn that off. I think that's, I think that's actually genius. Okay, down here we have a little bit of some open storage, which I do appreciate. In here, we've got our cup holders and they kind of did the Hyundai Palisade route where they have these little buttons where then they can like make the cups, make the cup holders. What I like better about the Palisade is they're both on one side. So then I actually have enough room for two more drinks. This is like, I have enough room for drinks in my phones. So it doesn't feel like it's the most like space effective way to do it, but I don't know. I guess it's, I guess it's cool. Here we're going to find our wireless charger Oops. and a very little center console, which I do appreciate that I have additional storage down there, but I like things that are covered, right? Like I'm not obsessed with this in my center console. It's not like it's I enjoy looking at it all the time. Like I would like to, you know, shove some things away. We also have two more cup holders back here. These are kind of cracking us up. These like mesh, it's like an office chair, literally. It's actually kind of comfortable. I'm telling you guys between this little calf thing and this like padded headrest, I would not mind waiting for soccer practice to be over like this. This is, it, it, it's giving comfort for sure. Okay. Well, let's, Okay, so let's move to the second row, the third row, the trunk space, and let's see just how actually family friendly this thing is. Cause all this is awesome, but if it can't fit our car seats, is it really even a family car? Okay, so the EV9 comes in both a bench or captain's chairs. I've actually already toured a bench and I will leave a link to it in the description box below and you can find out if I was able to fit three car seats or not. We have the captain's chairs to look at today, which I'm excited. So let me get on in. And I just want you guys to take a look. I'm gonna just recline this just a tad. I want you to take a look at my leg room. I have this seat set for myself generously at about six feet tall, and I am very comfortable. It feels very spacious back here. The car sits a little lower to the ground than something like the Telluride, so you don't really feel like you're driving that big of a car when you're in it, but I'm very comfortable back here. As far as my amenities are concerned, we're going to have built-in sunshades for the second row, which I always love. Not standard, but on some trim levels. And then we also have heated seats and ventilated seats in the second row, which is a very nice luxury feature. Okay, back here, I already told you my knee clearance, a pocket, our ceiling vents, and then all of our climate control is up here, which I actually like. I'm gonna be, I like that actually. And then down here, we've got some very interesting storage. We have like a tray or we have a little bit of a center console. This is giving minivan, you guys. I'm kind of into that. Okay, a few more fun features back here is we have USB C's on the back of the seats. Don't sleep on this. This is so much better than having them down here because your cord can actually reach. Like you can comfortably sit here and scroll your phone or your tablet while it's charging. Trust me, it's a game changer. I also love that we can actually control this passenger seat from back here. So like if I'm back here and I wanna move this up, very easy to do, like if nobody was sitting there. All right, let's break down the hardware for the car seat set up in this Kia EV9. The captain seats and the two seats in the third row are all gonna have their own sets of lower anchors and tether anchors. That is impressive. That is just about the best that you could get. So what we have today in the captain's chair is I have a Britax poplar seat installed rear face. And I want you to give you an idea of the clearance. I already showed you the leg room is great. So of course that means we have really good car seat clearance for the second row. However, that is with these seats pushed all the way back, giving the third row no leg room. So I'm gonna be a little bit more realistic. If I was actually gonna have a passenger back there, that's not even being very generous. I would say if you're actually going to have passengers in the third row, this is more of the legroom you're looking at. The third row of this car definitely feels a lot tighter than I was expecting. As far as third row access is concerned, we have the tilt and slide, which is what I was expecting for the EV9. 
And then back here, I have a Graco Slim Fit 3LX. I like using this car seat in the third row. Those headrests back there are not removable. This one plays nicely with most headrests. Um, I had no problem stalling it. I don't have too much overhang. It's a nice deep bench seat for the third row. I really appreciate the fact that they only put two seats back there. So I actually have like room to do things or people have room to sit. And the third row amenities back there are also pretty good. We have got cup holders, USB, ceiling vents. So you definitely don't feel like you're a, you know, a third class citizen sitting in the third row of this car. So here's a shot of me in the third row of the, of the EV9 with the seat pushed all the way back. I mean, it's not even, I mean, I, I, I physically can't even do it, which I know that I'm tall, but again, you have to remember that even shorter people who are in, or younger people who are in car seats, they still don't want to have their feet necessarily pressed up against their like slid down. So I would have liked a little bit more of a third row but I feel so good about how comfortable the second row is that I think if you're just after a really spacious second row in the third row every once in a while, I think it's great. I think that everyday use for a third row, this car could be hard to, hard to function. Okay, let's break down the trunk space of the EV9. Here we go. Here we have it. I already showed you the front, unfortunately, such a major disappointment. But in the trunk, we were able to fit the Zoe double the Zoe twin stroller, which felt pretty good, you guys. We have a little bit of extra storage underneath here as well. The third row seats are not power, which I'm okay with. I think this is so much quicker. But then you could um, also fold down the second row seats from here. I love that they lay nice and flat like that to give you that additional cargo space. And if you had the third row down, then you're really, I was gonna say cooking with gas, but that's <laughs> wrong to say about an EV. Then you're running on electric. All right, Jill, so there you have it. That's going to wrap up this 2024 Kia EV9 tour. I, for the most part, am very excited about what this means for the electric car market. I think this car definitely is going to check a lot of families' boxes who have been waiting for some bigger EV options. Second row, great. First row, great. It drives fun. It looks good. I wish the third row in the trunk space were just a little bit better, but for the most part, I'm impressed with this car. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.